Today we're taking a look at Toyota's display audio with navigation system. Now this is different from Toyota's up-level navigation system in that this screen is smaller. It's about an inch smaller or so and uh, everything is sort of app driven. You can see that instead of a nav button over here we have an apps button. And the apps include the navigation which is this map icon here. You can also get display audio without navigation and again that map is really the only difference. We have access to weather, sports, stocks, Pandora, Bing, searching, uh, fuel prices, traffic, calendars, etc. All of this is driven off of your smartphone. It is Android as well as iPhone compliant and it hooks to your phone via a USB port located somewhere in the vehicle. In our particular vehicle, which is a Toyota Tacoma, it's in the center console. Now over here on the left, we get our audio options here. So we have satellite radio. If we press it again, we get an audio menu. So we plugged in our iPod, we get that. Um, we have different inputs. We have AM, FM, satellite. We have iPod, Bluetooth. It does support HD radio, which is quite nice. And the Bluetooth interface is very good for many factory radios. It doesn't just display the track and title information, but it also displays album art, which is fairly nice. You have access to uh, your random and your repeat options. Can't browse your iPod, of course, or any other Bluetooth device with this system. But that's what your direct iPod interface is for. As you can see here, we have full access to our iPod or our iPhone, uh, playlist artists, etc. Track up and down buttons are of course located here, our usual audio controls, and of course we have a complete phone interface. Now what makes this system interesting and different is it's slightly cheaper than the other system. Uh, I actually prefer it to Toyota's higher end navigation system because the mapping database is very good and it's very responsive, but you also don't need satellite radio in order to get traffic information. I unfortunately don't have the Entune app paired, but you would see traffic flow information on this screen and traffic alerts if your phone had the Entune app and was logged in. Uh, the app screen, Bing search basically allows you to search the web for pre-web clipped uh, items. So if you know the name of a business but you don't know its address or its phone number, you can Bing search for it. It'll help take you there. Pandora is fairly self-explanatory. You can program in your stocks and your sports and get up to the date quotes on those. The voice recognition system in this unit is very good. It's controlled by the steering wheel. There's a button over here for voice recognition and uh, if we click on it very quickly, you can see these different options, destination, find, next, play artist, etc. cetera. Uh, it does do voice commands on your iPod or iPhone, which is very handy, and it does do uh, voice dialing on your cell phone as well. Uh, the nav system works very well, and uh, it's very Please easy. Please select a help command. It's very easy to uh, use these navigation commands. Again, if you just press this button on the steering Cancel. wheel. Ooh, that's loud. If you just press this button on the steering wheel, you can see the format. You basically speak it. You say destination 897 Main Street, Burlingame, California, all in one word, and the system will Cancel. take you there. Compared to systems like Ford Sync, the system is quite snappy, as you can see. Um, my only complaint is, of course, this apps button seems a little silly. I wish it was apps or map or, some, or there was another direct button to get back to your maps. There's room over here. They could put one up there, but they don't. Um, you can double press it to get back to your map. Um, so that is a little bit of a shortcut that most people don't realize. And uh, you can double click your audio button here to get back to this audio menu. But there isn't direct access to the maps. The mapping function is flash based. It's fairly snazzy. Um, and again, we do have complete uh, control over our iPod or iPhone with this system via voice command, which is very nice. Very similar in many respects to Ford Sync as well as Honda's new uh, Honda Link system in the brand new Accord. Uh, those rank very similarly. Um, the General Motors system isn't as good. Uh, Uconnect is, has nicer graphics and a much larger screen uh, and it's fairly similar to the system but I don't find its mapping or apps integration very good at all. Again that's been our quick take at the Toyota Entune system and I'm Alex Dykes, the truth about cars .com.